Hey guys, welcome back to another what to do tutorial. Today we are going to cover the Yamaha golf cart and its gutter system. All right, so here's the uh, cart that I have in the shop currently. I put it up on the lift. Uh, but on these roofs, sometimes uh, they will accumulate water, sort of much like a house does with a, a gutter on it and a roof. And when it gets clogged up, the water will start pouring over the sides or when you drive off, it comes splashing down ends up on the back of people's golf clubs and so forth. So pretty much up here is your roof and in the back you'll see this little gully here which is the gutter, the drain, and you have two spouts right there on each side. Now there is a groove that goes all around the roof and also down the center which will run the water back to those spouts. Now, the water will then run down here, down this channel, and through there, and then I will show you under the bed where it's gonna come out. So we're under the machine, back by the uh, back tire here, and straight up, let's go up here. You see the spout right there? That's where your water is gonna drain, and there will be one on the other side as well. A uh, couple ways to check the, uh, well, two ways to check if your gutter is clogged or not. Um, one, you can wait for a rainy day and see if you get completely soaked. Or you can just take a uh, bottle of water and pour it down the spout. Like this, here's our bottle of water. Come over here to your spout and just pour it. Okay, now come underneath and you can see it is draining out of the hole now. All right, on this cart here, looks like the water is pouring through there. That's not seated in there properly. So the water will drain down here if you have a company or a golf course and people keep stuff back here. This will get wet in the rain. All right, we'll go check this side now. And sure enough, yeah, it's pouring right down the column here, too. Um, you can see it. And it is pouring out the bottom, too. So the channel is clear. Now, in the event that they do get clogged, I would recommend taking an air hose, a pressure hose, and just squirting the air down through there. Um, this part here is going to uh, have to be readjusted. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, depending on how bad your rubber boot is on the golf cart, you can do one or two things. Uh, the first option would be this. Now I have one hand, so it can be kind of hard to do here. But what you want to do is just kind of pull down on this the best that you can. All right, because this pretty much just makes a seal on there. All right, and it's hard for me to do with one hand. But if you've got a little tiny pair of pliers or something, just enough to grip that, you can pull that seal back down on there, like so. The other option, if your boot is really worn out or you find out that the problem keeps coming back, would you just be get some uh, caulk or weatherproof silicone? They have it in all different colors. If you want to get black to match it, you can. And just get a little tube and you would run a bead all the way around there to keep the water from coming out here. Now, I just sealed that back on there with my hand. We're gonna fill up our water and see if that fixed the problem. All right, we filled the water back up. Now for the moment of truth. And voila, solved the problem. Uh, so that was it, and I did that with one hand. So if that doesn't work for you and you wanna try the other solution, just get some weatherproof caulk or some sealant, put it around there, smooth it out with your finger, do a nice clean job. Um, it's in a spot which is really not noticeable anyway. Um, but that's it. Real simple, easy fix. Keep your customers dry, keep them happy. And uh, that's how you fix the gutter on a Yamaha golf cart. Don't forget, hit subscribe below, give me a like. I do these videos daily. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you next time.